world order has begun to amass its forces. Fourth dimensional insectoid shapeshifter, Vic Man. Just for the shark, but for the greater battle against alien shapeshifters. Site P is connected to America's other 129 secret military bases by Magneto Leviton trains, which are capable of speeds up to Mach 6. Shadowy Cabal despises the fish for her independence of mind and spirit. Fourth dimensional insectoid shapeshifter, Big Man. Do you feel it? This whole island is saturated with the most vile forms of interplanetary wickedness. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shapeshifter, big man. Site-P features underground satellite tracking facilities that can send a camera to your property within seconds. Their technology is now so sophisticated that they even know if you're browsing Marishka Hargate on Wikifeed again. because she dares to attack the very pillars that prop up their temple of life.
by ship, the Illuminati want to transform the world. Once so violent, so full of southern rock and outlaw country cruises, into the dark Stygian waters of hell itself. <laughs> These are dark actors playing dark games, and they don't appreciate anyone attempting to foil their diabolical schemes. <laughs> Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. Feel that? That shiver running up your spine? We have ventured to the very heart of intergalactic Luciferian. The shark refuses to subjugate herself to the insectary cliff, and thus is targeted as a threat. <laughs> Mother. 
mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. If you value your planetary sovereignty, all of this must be destroyed. The insectoids are rabid that the shark will soon reveal the truth of their agenda. Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova.
Clearly, the NWO is using some ancient builder race technology. Fish must be eradicated, lest she unmask the New World Order's evil agenda. Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. The bioweapon has reached America's shores, perhaps having already unleashed a rapid viral agent upon the citizen. Now, the NWO will hold the country ransom, offering the vaccine in exchange for it. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry.
This could be the bioweapons doing, sure. But first, perhaps I should consult my friend, a world-renowned expert on the subject of ancient giants. Bioweapon appears determined to disperse its infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to say that the Warren Commission was a total farce. What are these? My guess is powerful influencing machines designed to make us hate America and love machine is destroyed. Americans, freed from its spell, will forsake their co-op veneer for good old-fashioned cheese. By the behavior of wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen mimicking endocrine disruptors. The battle is over, but the war goes on.
Just earned her PhD in race science. Wait, uh, hold on, that, that came out wrong. Shadow or trying to set up a puppet alert, with its main purpose being the annexation of Port Clovis. Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbert. You see, Hibbert owns 50 shares in Schlumberg, who's owned by Exico, or partners with Saxwell Gold in Vargon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsion. Therefore, Hibbard made money on the dream.
the shark's poor technique is really limited. Persuasive. might consider some interval training. And away we go! The fish is displaying some good body spine alignment. why it's so important when swim training to practice your positioning. advice for the shark. She who pulls the most water wins. Look at the determination. to feel the water. I think that's her problem. Look how gracefully she glides through the of a drill. Rotations and oblique rolls are a great way to build those swimming muscles. suggest some tempo training. It helps shave three minutes off my butt. Speed 
work and endurance training will really enhance the shark's performance potential. Operation Garden Plot was just the beginning. The Rex 84 program is underway. The insectoids are rounding us up for their re education. Time is running out for our shot. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor impulse control with them. toxin filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoids copper mines. Should have brought my fish finder. And he's on. <laughs> form has really started to deteriorate. That was disappointing. The shark burst right out of the gate. Fish really needs to get that tail moving. Dominant performance thus far. sessions with a USA swimming certified coach. This fish really needs a second wind. how she positions her fins at different angles, altering the flow of the water around her. Yeah. 
I can't impress enough the importance of core-driven swimming. The Predator perhaps can improve her swing look. The shark exhibits incredible maneuverability. The shark explodes off the blocks. The big fish is falling behind. important as a vertical stabilizer. Might I suggest a 20 minute cool down? Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots. hold a deep hatred of wildlife, none more so than the shark hunter. Sharks don't have lungs, so it's probably best he doesn't really rally for two.
The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature.